Hey guys, uh, good evening. Um, this is the day two feedback and what to expect tomorrow video uh, for the day. Um, just overall, wanted to give you uh, just a little bit of feedback. Uh, I talked to Mr. Campbell today, um, and um, you know we were just talking about videos and stuff like that. And he he had read a study where you want to keep your videos to about six to eight minutes because um, then you know they tend to kind of you know fizzle out from there. And sure enough, I looked at the analytics thing on YouTube and. Dang straight, man, about most of you make it about five minutes and 47 seconds before you tune it out. So I'm going to adjust and try to keep it short and sweet so that way, um, you know, you watch the whole thing. So overall impressions of day two, I was really happy. Um, you know, of course, a lot of you guys um, just, uh, you know, submitted, or not a lot of you, I should say, but many of you got that in by the uh, like 11.59 or whatever deadline. Um, and then it, there were just a few of you who were late and I just have a few more of those day one assignments that still have to be turned in. So, um, but overall, um, I've been pretty happy with those. I, I individualized that feedback. So please check your Google Classroom email. Uh, you'll have uh, the um, feedback that I just typed up individual to each one of your responses. Um, also, current event, um, I'm going to let that go throughout the entire week. So that way... Um, I generate more responses. Four of you have responded so far. I know that's not a requirement, but um, I try to, you know, just like to, to discuss this, these kinds of things. And then of course, at the end of the week, I'll kind of give you my own um, just kind of opinion and take on, on that current event as well, because, hey, you're sharing that with me, so I'll share that with you too. Um, so uh, that's just kind of the, the day two feedback as far as those assignments goes. Of course, the posting, uh, if you haven't seen that already, is up on Google Classroom. It was as of about 7.38 this morning. Uh, hopefully, um, I didn't confuse too many people. Uh, thank you to the, the couple of students who reached out to me and let me know, hey, Mr. Stein, where is this critical response question located at? Uh, that was actually located on slide 21 of that delicate balance of democracy Google slideshow. Um, there was the Khan Academy notes there, and there was the Unit 1 Federalism vocabulary that I had for you. Um, don't forget there's an audio file attached to that, so that way you can actually hear me kind of go through explaining um, each of those slides. Uh, it's not text heavy, you know, there are videos embedded, try to make that thing interactive for you, so it wasn't too, uh, too, too boresome for you. Um, even though I know some of this stuff can get dry sometimes, but I, I appreciate you guys sticking with that. Um, also, um, the one question quiz, both of those are drop boxes. I'm going to call them drop boxes. That's just what I call them. Uh, so both of those things are on Google Classroom. Uh, it's the one question quiz that you got to do for me, as well as the critical response question. I think I had posted that those things were going to be due. Let me check. Uh, I think I had posted, yeah, due June 4th. I actually intended them to be due June 3rd. So that's my mistake. Looked at the calendar wrong. Uh, so you got an extra day. You're welcome. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to push that back to the actual day because I said two days is how many days I wanted to give you for that. But of course, it's my fault. However, um, you know, as those things come in, I'll be grading those and I'll continue to give you guys feedback, um, you know, from a global perspective uh, once I grade some of those things. So as those things come in, I'm trying to get those graded for you and get you that feedback right away. Also on uh, just the rest of the week, um, Thursday, you'll have an extension activity. I'll go over what that is um, and, and the directions and stuff like that in another video. And then Friday, we'll introduce your assessment um, that will be related to the current coronavirus COVID stuff that is kind of going on and how that relates to federalism. There's a lot of topics that can be explored in that as well. So um, that's kind of what you expect. So what to really expect for tomorrow is um, continuing to work through um, that slideshow with some of those embedded activities that are within it. Uh, so that way we can understand and, the, and just to basically kind of explain, you know, why you're doing these things and why you're headed where you are in just a sh you know, quick you know, minute or so. So I see I'm at about four minutes uh, on the time. So I want to, you know, make sure I get through everything. Uh, but we started with that. What does it mean to them in a democratic society like discussion question? Right. So so the reason for that is, is we're, that is going to be part of your assessment, too. You're going to be kind of reflecting back upon that question, too, uh, when you do the assessment. Right. So that that's that's leading somewhere, uh, because over the course of this unit, you should have a better idea of what it means to live in a democratic society based on some of the things that you learn. 
uh, like the contextual history that's in that slideshow, right? That that that's information or knowledge that you might not have had before that should probably enrich your ideas on what it means to live in a democratic society, and also that unit driving question, right? Which is that idea of the delicate balance of democracy, how we balance these things uh, within a society um, and, and compromise with real world problems. Okay, so that's the essence of that driving question, uh, which will be part of that assessment too. Um, so um, giving you that background information so that way you understand where some of these ideas come from, how they're applied, that's extremely important for your understanding in civics. So that's why you do this stuff. Um, then there'll be an extension activity in which you'll look more at a side of um, legally, um, how we treated this is the Supreme Court does set like legal standards for us and, and interpretation for us uh, when it comes to issues of the 14th Amendment, especially inequality before the law. Um, so there will be a couple of cases that you will um, have to choose from. One will be from 1896 Plessy Ferguson. Um, the other will be a 2014 case that had to do with um, affirmative action off the top of my head. I think it was Chouette, something of that nature. But that is um, who that will be. All right. Um, and then, of course, there'll be another explanation as far as your assessment goes um, in the next couple of days, too. Um, but um, that's kind of what to, to expect. Also, just as a side note, if you've made it to the end of the video, um, you notice that I'm wearing an L.A. Dodger hat today. I, I own basically every hat um, of the major major league baseball. So anybody who's missing baseball like I am right now and just, you know, just is trying to connect in some way to like pro baseball. I know South Korea is doing a great job right now. It's just, I'm sorry, it's just not the same. I got to have my Major League Baseball. But um, today is the LA Dodgers. Um, anybody that wants, uh, post in the comments in Google Classroom um, what uh, team you want me to uh, rock tomorrow for the video, and that is the hat that I will wear. Uh, so you pick the hat. Um, just got to post it in the comments. So that is the reward for anybody who made it to the end of the video. I hope you have a great night. Day two of Civics Down, guys. Um, yeah, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.